What's up good people? It's me Destiny. So you got engaged. Great. And now you want to take your own photos to save some money. If you feel like you're confident enough to take your own picture, then I'm going to give you these three easy steps that you want to think about before you take your engagement photo. So number one, do your research. This includes rules and regulations for where you want to shoot. You want to make sure that you can take pictures there without getting fined or banned or whatever, especially if it's not like a public parks and rec sort of situation. Do your research on what you want your end product to look like, okay? Pinterest is your best friend. Do your research on how to pose uh, as a couple together, how to kind of pose your partner if they're not familiar or comfortable in front of the camera. Also, the weather is part of research. Research what the weather is going to be like on the day that you're shooting. I probably could have done a better job with this, but I don't think it would have really mattered. It was freezing cold. <laughs> like, it was, it was so bad. A lot of people don't think that Texas gets cold, but sis, I'm out here in a sweater, which was smart, but like my skirt is just a skirt. I don't have any, I had some fishnet stockings, but I mean, fishnet is covering nothing. My poor fiance was like, he's a big guy, so he wasn't as cold as me, but he didn't want to take off his jacket either. But I was like, babe, we gotta get the picture. I was like, this would be really cute, like if, if you take your jacket off, because we're kind of matching, mix matching a little bit. And this is a couple's photo, so it kind of makes sense. By the time we finished, my hands were cinder blocks. It was ridiculous. Number two is location, location, location. Okay, use Google Maps or Instagram. You know, if you have no idea of like where you may want to shoot, also think outside of the box. Use social media, just see where people are taking pictures or just see where people are going see what areas are kind of interesting looking if that's what you're looking for and just do research on your location visit your location during different times of the day so you can see how the light affects the location because lighting is important golden hour obviously is perfect you have two golden hours when the sun is rising and when the sun is setting on weather apps these days it'll tell you when it'll rise and it'll tell you when it will set and so you can kind of gauge when your golden hour is going to be in your area and then also early mornings in parks are really good because nobody's out there um if it's like a cloudy day or if there's gonna be overcast, early morning overcast is really beautiful. Again, visit your location during different times of the day. Figure out what location you're gonna shoot at and then kind of do a little bit of research on when would be the best time to shoot at that location. That brings me to number three, is to gather your supplies. A hot tip is to pack everything in a small bag, little duffel bag. Just have everything. If you're gonna have props, have it all in one bag. It's easier, you stay organized and you're ready to go. If you get kicked out, you just grab the bag and go. The supplies includes tech, gear, and wardrobe. If you're going to do a wardrobe change, we didn't, we did two locations. The second location didn't really work out. So we just used the pictures from the one location and we've been rocking with them ever since. You know what I'm saying? People love them, we love them. They came out really good, if I do say so myself. Basic gear that you're gonna need is obviously a camera. You can use your phone if you have a good phone like that. You'll need a tripod so that you can really frame your shot and have it look professional. And this one's kind of optional. It, but it is a good idea to have a remote shutter release. If you have a camera where you can like release it with your phone, then you can do that. So that's the basic gear. I mean, you don't really need a whole lot else. Everything else is completely up to you. You do what you want to do. You bring what you want to bring and use what you got. Don't go breaking the bank just for some pictures. The whole, that's the whole point of taking your own pictures is to save money, okay? Anyway, that's all I have for you guys this time. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, share this video with somebody that's getting married or just somebody that you may think need this information. If you're getting married, let me know. I'm really into weddings and people's processes and their planning process and I just think it's a beautiful thing when two people decide to come together and really do something. Let me know in the comments below or on Instagram at The Manifest Destiny. If you have any more questions, hit me up. Hopefully you come back next week for whatever I have for you next week. Um, if not, then I'll just see you when I see you.